Hey YouTube, it's Normal Life here and welcome back to the channel. Now as you know, the new Call of Duty Season 2 event has started and I'm going to show you how to unlock all of the Warzone challenges, all nine of them, within 30 minutes. Now just to be clear, these are the Warzone challenges. Outbreak is on Cold War, so you need to have Cold War to play them. Now it doesn't matter if you've got Xbox or PC, I'm going to show you how to do this in the quickest time possible. And I did this in the first 30 minutes when I started the game after the update. And it is pretty easy to be fair in my opinion. Um, you don't really need to be conscious of all of the challenges, you just need to be conscious about try and get in the best position to try and do the challenges. So just to show you, as you can see on my screen, so we've got Outbreak Warzone, Outbreak Warzone at the bottom. So we're looking at the Warzone ones. As you can see, I've completed all nine now. Uh, but as you can see, we've got here uh, the challenges. So in Warzone, uh, get 10 uh, zombie kills with headshots. Uh, the next Warzone is eliminate uh, 20 uh, zombies. Uh, we have also use um, lethals. You've got to get eight kills of them. Next is use a vehicle uh, with three kills. People are a bit uh, worried about that one. Eliminate five zombies in a single match three times. Use a shotgun, uh, getting eight kills. Rapidly kill two or more zombies two times. Use a pistol, uh, eliminating uh, eight zim uh, zombies. Zimbies? <laughs> I don't know what zombie is. And then the last one, actually, I could have done this quicker because I thought it had to be the final circle. I've got to read it clearly. Eliminate eight zombies before the first circle closes. Then once you do complete all of them challenges, you get a new blueprint uh, which I've unlocked. And the first time I'm looking at it now, which is the 1911 blueprint, uh, which is a teardrop. So we're going to look at this teardrop and the attachments that you have um, is some cool attachments looks pretty cool uh probably nothing special really uh but if you complete the outbreak i think it is a sniper um you can unlock the uh, blueprint for that but um yes yeah, so i'm going to show you now guys how to complete in 30 minutes literally is dead easy so first thing you want to do before you start a game um and you want to try and sort your loadouts out use any other gun that any gun that you want to use but you've got to make sure that you get ready to customize one for ready for a pistol and a shotgun um so i i think i changed it halfway through the game so here's my uh one that i use so i use the ffar just to try and get as many kills as i can as you need to kill lots of zombies and a shotgun ready for the shotgun challenge then when i was um ready to do the next challenge i've got my um actually i've customized it there with a the teardrop um i I use the pistol and that's my fully loaded one so make sure you got back two loadouts that you can complete the two challenges with the pistol and the shotgun then to complete eight of the challenges the final challenge which is playing a normal battle royale which is uh, when you've got to kill eight zombies before the first circle closes that one is a bit different but all of the other eight challenges uh, you need to play plunder when you play plunder you need to play it on your own so you don't play any um, teams of three the trios you play on your own just because teammates could possibly take your kills um, and also they could start something as a contract as well and just distract you so play on your own you're going to play against lots of other players but it doesn't really matter so you need to play um, as you can see don't fill squad playing plunder so all eight of the challenges the first eight you need to play plunder so as you can see we have started the game and what we're going to do here is try and land on the top and the reason why we try and land on the top is because everyone actually goes and sinks towards the bottom that's the easy way through and also when you're on the top you can actually see everything going on so i'm going to get on the top i'm going to try and take out anybody who's challenging me as well uh, I see a guy there but it actually disappears but uh, what I'm trying to do is look below where the zombies because the activation ha actually has started now the activation you only get 40 zombies and then it respawns after a, about five minutes or probably like, well, actually well less than five minutes for about a couple of minutes and what I'm trying to do here is try and get as many many kills as I can uh, just to try and start the challenge and try and aim for the headshots. So I'm trying to get as many kills, get trying to get um, 20 eliminations and also the headshots as well. Um, now it's quite hard because other people are going to be, be with me so I've got to be a bit careful, just hide a bit, get cover and come back in the game. Uh, so I've still got my gun, uh, I'm using the stone if you're interested as well. Uh, trying to aim go for the headshots, try and get as many kills as I can and yeah I'm building up, building up. Um, there's also other people with me and also in a second I believe I unlock one of the, um, the challenges 
think it's here when you kill two people, uh, two zombies, there we go. Killing two zombies rapidly two times. Um, so there's one challenge straight away. And that's to say, you won't realize the challenges you'll unlock when you start shooting, you just do it. Because the zombies stay all next to each other, you just get all these kills, get the headshots, and you won't even realize you're actually unlocking things until it comes up on the screen. So now um, I'm still getting the shots in and after doing so many kills, I eventually get the headshots, uh, killing, uh, killing uh, so many zombies with headshots. So as I say, that's what you're trying to do. Right, now as you can see here, I'm trying to do the pistol challenge. So with the pistol challenge, I'm trying to get as many kills as I can with the pistol. I think it's eight, I believe. Um, so I'm trying to keep quiet from other enemies as well. I'm using the Brunetti here, getting a good position. And then I'll, I think I'm moving to a better position after I killed this last zombie. Um, and actually unlock an achievement here as well um, without realizing i think that's actually getting a, the actually the elimination as i need i think it's 20 kills or 40 kills i can't remember, remember. also on top of here as well um, i'll get my pistol kills just moving away and then get the final kills doing that right so what we're looking for now this is um one of the hardest things because vehicles won't really spawn near now when you get a vehicle, the best thing to do is just drive around the ship for a while. When you see the challenge activate, that's then when you try and get any vehicles you can and drive really slow. That's the most important thing. Drive really slowly so you can kill zombies accurately. I think it only three kills and then boom, I've done the challenge. So now we're going to try and do the lethal kills. By doing that, you need an ammunition box, and the best thing to do is have a Semtex, the most easiest way to get it. Uh, and all you're going to do is literally get on high ground, as I mentioned before, and throw Semtex when you see the zombie alert starts, throw Semtex in that hole, try and make sure you aim for zombies when you see them, when you're throwing Semtex, and just basically reload. Then I think I die here in a second, back in the game. Get another Semtex thrown there, get an ammo box thrown in there, and eventually you do get it if you stay on top. That's the most important part. You can see I've got the lockable there. Uh, so now we're going to the next challenge. Okay, my final challenge was getting with the shotgun. Uh, now I died lots of times doing this. Um, so you literally just jump in, get from the top, because you need to be close with the shotgun, um, and just get as many kills as you can, guys. That's it, just simply spamming the shotgun when you get in there, and you will get them kills. So the last challenge on the um, Outbreak event is the one you can't do on Plunder is um, killing eight zombies, there we go, killing eight zombies before the first circle closes. Now, the way to do that, you've got to do that on Battle Royale only, you've got to do it on Solo. If you do it on Quads, Trios or Duos, um, you are going to face a lot of people okay yes your team may drop with you but you're going to face a lot of teams going to the same spot and teams are usually stick together and kill you so you could go to the gulag and it'd be a waste of time um, and also your teammates could take your kills as well so you may not get the kills that you need so how to do this you do solo you do solo just because you're on your own and everyone's out to kill each other and then you can try and when everyone's killed each other trying to get them eight kills as quick as they can then you can jump in get the kills at the end and then you're done but watch my solo short game. I don't finish the game because once you complete the challenge, you can quit. Um, so watch my solo game. What I did to get it on the first ever game. Okay, just watch things that I do straight away. So in the battle royale uh, mode, it's really important that you don't jump out straight away in towards the shipwreck. Go towards prison. When you go to Paul's prison, loot as much as you can, get his guns, get your armor, get yourself set to go and kill some enemies. Once you are ready, and also I think I've got a kill here, someone tried to rush me. Um, I could hear them, but luckily I've got a heartbeat here, which gave me the advantage because I wasn't actually sure where there was. Uh, but the Milano did me favors there, got the kill, just thought I mentioned that. But once you are ready, guys, you want to um, jump down uh, because. If you jump down at the start, everyone's going to kill you. It's going to be a short game. So you want to come in last. So when everyone's dead, there's only probably a few players left there. So you can complete the challenge for yourself. So always start from the top, as you can see here. And what I've done, looking for zombies. The zombie game started now with the respawn. Uh, so I can start killing zombies. And there's actually a guy there um, as well trying to kill them. who has been killed by someone else. I'll get a few zombie kills. I need to get eight, remember, before the circle just closes. So all you need is just start closing. It doesn't need to finish closing, just start closing. So I need eight now, as quick as I can, as quick as I can before it starts. Um, so getting a few kills here. I actually panic because I run out of bullets and then 
I get shot and thought the challenge is gonna go start again. Um, so I was thinking I, need, I only need a few more. So I jump around the back, the guy actually gets another shot on me. And then I can get a few more kills. I'm not sure how many I've got left, so I'm panicking still because there's someone after me. And then, yeah, I complete the challenge. And then the guy finishes me off here, which I don't care because it says there I've got the blueprint complete. My word of advice, guys, while you're seeing uh, my gulag here is all you got to do is get in the golden position and then you'll get it done. Do not rush in there and literally get in the crowd of people trying to get the kills with the zombies when you're doing the plunder and the um, battle royale. Just wait at your right moment and then you'll get it. Just do not rush. It is fairly simple. You've seen me do it in the first 35 minutes. Um, and yeah. Um, now I know I don't need to stay for the games. I'll kill myself. And then we've done it all. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy and uh, learn something new and it actually helps you complete these challenges in the quickest time possible. And don't forget to subscribe and follow uh, me on Twitch as well. Uh, and wait until my next video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you long.